Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma da'ahabtu fillah The Muslim is a brother to his brother Muslim And we should avoid letting things in this life become between our hearts. And this is a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam because a lot of times we forget these big important aspects of the religion, these important manners. And that's why I'm trying to focus on this during this holy month of Ramadan to see if we can leave this month, this holy month, with a, some of these manners being a part of our characteristics. When I, when Abi Ayyub رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا يحل لمسلم أن يهجر أخاه فوق ثلاث فوق ثلاث فوق ثلاث ليال يلتقيان فيعرض هذا ويعرض هذا وخيرهما الذي يبدأ بالسلام متفق عليه. In this hadith of Bukhari and Muslim, the hadith of Abi Ayyub رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said that the last messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said, it is not permissible for a Muslim to avoid his brother for more than three days or three nights. When they meet, this one turns away from this one. And that one turns away from the other. And the best of them is the one who greets first the other one. Ahabatifillah, greeting your Muslim brother or Muslim sister is part of the haqqoq of the Muslim. It's one of the rights of the believers. And in addition to that right, is that we do not make hajr or we do not cut off one another for more than three nights as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said. And this is regards to personal matters. Personal matters. And in regards to things that have to do with this life, the hereafter. It could be business transactions, be whatever the case may be, but it's something personal. Do not let these things destroy the Islamic Brotherhood. So it shows us how praiseworthy and how prized the Muslim Brotherhood is, the Islamic Brotherhood is. And don't let the fact that you live in the West, or you live somewhere where the Muslims are a minority, and you still forget, you become so engrossed with wanting to please disbelievers and wanting to please everyone else that you don't give your brother, your Muslim brother, and Muslim sister the right of salam. Don't say, well, you know, I'm a Palestinian and I've assimilated, and I don't want to give salam to my brothers. Or I'm a, 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 a well-off Pakistani doctor. And I don't want to give salams, those people are beneath me. Instead, Jeff and Bo and, and Kim and Michelle and Michael are more praised and more, uh, I have more in common with them. So, this is very important that we keep this in mind. Do not forget to give salams to your brothers and sisters. And do not cut them off for more than three days. Another fight that we get from this hadith is that we, this hadith also, although it doesn't mention in the hadith, but that we understand from other ahadith and from the af'al of the Salaf of Sa'ik, Ridwan Allahi that the hajr is permissible for other service, in other circumstances. And you'll find in Riyadh Salihin in a title, uh, which uh, in, in Imam Anoui's Riyadh Salih, more details about this issue, about the issue of 
speaking about Ahmed Bidah, that this is a type of ghiba that is permissible. And that, so it lets us know that sometimes the rights of the believer, due to the ma'asi and the sinfulness that they indulged in, may be revoked. And that the fact that they are from Ahmed Bidah, that they have fallen into Bidah, that sometimes their right is to be revoked. But that does not mean we rush to make hajr of our brothers and sisters in Islam, that. But rather we look at the masalih and the mufasid. We look at the harms and we look at the benefits of making hajr. And these harms and benefits are weighed by Ahl al They're weighed by Ahl al The people of knowledge, the people who know and understand the masalih and the mufasid. The people who know the, 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 the wabit of hajjah. So I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters not to rush into these matters. Not to rush into cutting your brothers and sisters off because the awesome is that we have good ties and that we're brothers of Muslim, Akhul Muslim. You should do Hubabu The Muslim is a, a brother to his Muslim brother and they strengthen one another. The Prophet said, La yuhibli akhi. May you have a nefsi. Oh, come up out of the Sawah of Salem. La you have a Ahadakum. Well, I have been a Ahadakum. Hatti you have a Ahi, may you have a nefsi. The Prophet of Salem said, One of you does not truly believe until he wants for his brother what he wants for himself. So these are all rights of the Muslim, all rights of the Islamic brotherhood. All a part of strengthening the Islamic Brotherhood, and it should not be broken and taken lightly. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.